New details tonight in the Jesse Smollett charges. A grand jury indicted the actor today. Our Charlie DeMar has been in front of this story from the very start. He joins us now live from the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Charlie. Dan Webbs was tapped a special prosecutor back in August. Part of his job was to, to was to determine rather if new charges were necessary, were warranted to bring against Jesse Smollett after state's attorney Kim Fox dropped the case altogether. Today, Dan Webb answered that question as six new charges are against the actor. I think the question about how the case was disposed of is the question that people have. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb is one of those people releasing part of his findings in the Jussie Smollett investigation, determining he disagrees with how the Cook County State's Attorney's Office resolved the Smollett case, choosing to further prosecute the case. Today, a grand jury returning six new counts of disorderly conduct. Today, Kim Fox was asked about the case at a campaign event. We have a, a, an obligation to be transparent in everything that we do, and we dropped the ball in our transparency in the way that we handled this case. Smollett was charged last March and now again for lying to police, accused of staging his own racist and homophobic attack attack in Streeterville with the help of his friends, Abel and Ola Osendaro. He even told police a noose was wrapped around his neck. In a stunning move, three weeks later, Fox dropped the charges, allowing Smollett to walk free, those 16 counts disappearing. I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. I'm starting this thing fresh. Webb concluded at the time that the evidence against Mr. Smollett was strong, but Kim Fox's office changed their view for no apparent reason. This case was treated like the other cases that have gone through our alternative prosecution model. Webb asked for examples of those similar cases. So did CBS2. We couldn't find any. Neither could Webb. He writes the Cook County State's Attorney's Office was unable to provide this documentary evidence. We will not allow a special prosecutor to bring down a sister. Fox's supporters question Webb's timing just 35 days before primary election. It's strange, it's peculiar, and it's interesting that it's coming out at this particular moment. In a statement released late tonight, Jussie Smollett's attorney also calling these new charges politically motivated. She also questioned the integrity of this investigation altogether. Jussie Smollett will be back in Chicago, back in front of a Cook County judge on February 24th. We are live tonight in the loop. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. All right, Charlie, thank you.